and happy that if it, if it just wouldn't be a political thing, that that's just doing the right thing. And I think that, that folks realize that. The widow of officer Nick Rodman claimed lawmakers were holding House Bill 185 hostage after it wasn't presented to a committee on Tuesday. Rodman died last year, the line of duty while chasing a suspect. Ashley Rodman said lawmakers were stalling as political retaliation against the River City Fraternal Order of Police who don't support the proposed pension bill. We're just happy to get this thing moving and today we consider today a good day. On Thursday, a House committee unanimously approved the bill. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm elated. I'm elated that we're going to move this thing forward in the House. We're going to get a hearing uh, on the House floor and we're going to move it on to the Senate. If passed, the bill will increase death benefits for spouses from 25 to 75 percent of their loved one's annual salary. It would also make surviving spouses the default recipient for those benefits. Officer Rodman's widow is only getting partial benefits because the state doesn't have paperwork designating her a beneficiary. If approved, she will retroactively get her husband's benefits from last year. Well, perhaps that is the small piece of silver lining we can find in Nick's sacrifice that these issues were found and that now they can be fixed. The bill sponsor says Bill 185 will likely be heard on the House floor next week. In Frankfurt, Emily Maha, WLKY News.